So is Holder putting Snowden in too positive a light? Joining me now is former Senator Alphonse D'Amato to discuss this. And was it wrong for the uh, former Attorney General to bring this up as a positive for the United States, but what he did was illegal? Well, look, this is the same Attorney General who made possible uh, the, um, the wiping away of the conviction of, of, of Mark Rich, a guy who stole hundreds of millions of dollars uh, uh, from the people of this nation, a criminal. And uh, that was Bill Clinton's last act and holder as the acting attorney general made it possible. Uh, that was nothing but political chicanery. And this is more of the same. It's politics. Uh, Holder never should have been the attorney general. Uh, I, I wonder how my colleagues feel about not having blocked him, and they should have blocked him uh, because his record was horrendous. And here he is once again, somebody who steals sensitive, secret Mr. documents, Mr. Snowden, who makes them public. He says, oh, that's a service. So you mean anybody who decides that something should be made public, even though it's top secret, it's classified. It violates the law. And I mean, Daniel Ellsberg. How about endangering uh, operatives' lives? Well, we have, I think we have a picture of Daniel Ellsberg from it was the Pentagon Papers back in, what, 1971, 72 sure. with the New York Times. He was actually prosecuted, and the conviction was eventually overturned, but he was sentenced to 115 years in prison. It was thrown out. But he faced the music. Mr. Snowden has not faced the music. So is it... Is it right for the former attorney general to hold him up as an example? I think this is a terrible precedent uh, that if followed, you say anyone can break the law. Uh, they can because they feel that this is information that the public's entitled to. By the way, why isn't the public entitled uh, to the report as it relates uh, to the to Saudis, the 28 pages? That's right. Why, that isn't, why isn't that? Why doesn't the president make that available to the American people? I'm glad you brought that up because Chuck Schumer is trying to upend the 9-11 bill, uh, inserting an amendment that actually essentially lets the attorney general or secretary of state Both stop of litigation yeah. against a foreign country that might right. be sued. Right. Doesn't that just make this law null and void if it becomes law? Well, as a practical matter, the State Department will always intercede and allow very few countries, if any, to be sued. Uh, and, and State Department stay. It doesn't matter who the president is, they operate. But isn't Chuck Schumer and, having it both ways? I think he was in favor of this, I, and now he's stopping it. I give him great credit, and what the president uh, would have done is vetoed the bill, okay? And that's what he was told. There's no doubt in my mind uh, that he was between a rock and a hard place. It's better to have the bill and force the State Department to raise objections and then force them to say why they object. Let them come forward. So it's better than nothing. Uh, I give him uh, an A for effort. And uh, the politics has worked as usual. The president and his people have stepped in. They've intervened. And they got this provision inserted. Senator D'Amato, thank you for joining us. I got plenty of A's for effort when I was in school. But I also got some C's with those grades. So I'm not sure my sure, friends are too pleased with it. With you. Thank you.